what we have discussed in ninth class also that mode is basically that observation which is having the highest frequency okay so let us move to the definition part so basically mode of the group data is that value among the observation which occurs most often most often means its frequency is highest value inside the model class and is calculated by using this formula the formula is l plus f1 minus f0 upon 2 f1 minus f0 minus f2 multiply by h the example is we have the following data gives information on the observed lifetimes in hours of 196 electrical components <music> Hello dear students, welcome to LN Digital Classroom. The topic for this lecture is mode. Now what is mode? Mode we have discussed in 9th class also. That mode is basically that observation which is having the highest frequency. Okay, so let us move to the definition part. So basically mode of the group data is that value among the observation which occurs most often. Most often means its frequency is highest. Okay, so the observation having maximum frequency will be the mode of that data okay next one is model class so since our data has been concised in the form of class intervals so we will be having a model class and model class will be the class which is having highest frequency so what is model class the class of frequency distribution having maximum frequency will be known as the model class of the frequency distribution so if you want to find the model class you will look for the maximum frequency okay now let us move to the formula so the mod uh, is a value inside the model class and is calculated by using this formula the formula is l plus f1 minus f0 upon 2 f1 minus f0 minus f2 multiply by h now these terms are being explained as under L is basically lower limit of the model class. H is the size or the class width or the class size we call it. F1 is the frequency of the model class. Please remember this thing. F1, F0, F2. F1 is the frequency of model class. F0 is the frequency of class preceding the model class. Okay. It is the frequency of the class which precedes the model class while F2 is the frequency of class which succeeding the model class okay so these two terms are very important and the formula is little bit lengthy so we have to memorize it properly okay now let us move further so we have an example based on this formula the example is we have the following data gives information on the observed lifetimes in hours of 196 electrical components so we have electrical components and their lifetimes in hours so it is given in the form of class intervals 0 to 20, 20 to 40 and so on. Corresponding frequency or the number of electrical equipments are also given. We have to find the model lifetimes of the components. The first thing that uh, come in our mind is the model class. That which class will be the model class. So let us look for the highest frequency. The highest frequency that I can see it is 61. So corresponding to this highest frequency we will be having the model class. The model class will be 60 to 80. So let us write it down. The model class will be equals to 60 to 80. So we will be having the value of L from this because L was used to be the lower limit of the model class. So value of L will be 60. The value of H it will be 20. Okay. Now, if we talk about F1, F0 and F2, F1 used to be the frequency of the model class. So, frequency of the model class, it is 61. F0 used to be the frequency of the class which is preceding the model class. So, it was 52. And F2 is the frequency of the class which succeeds or succeeding the model class. So, that will be 38. So, these are the corresponding values that we are going to use in the calculation part so let us move to the solution so basically first of all we have the formula the formula for mode that is equals to l plus f1 minus f0 upon 2 f1 minus f0 minus f2 multiply by h let us put the values first of all l 
सो एल विल बी सिक्सटी प्लस एफ वन दैट इज द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द मॉडल क्लास दैट इज सिक्सटी वन माइनस एफ जीरो दैट विल बी फिफ्टी टू अपॉन टू एफ वन सो दैट विल बी टू इंटू सिक्सटी वन माइनस एफ जीरो दैट इज फिफ्टी टू माइनस एफ टू दैट इज थर्टी एट and this whole term is being multiplied by h h which was 20 now let us calculate this it will be 60 plus 61 minus 52 11 minus 2 that is 9 and 5 minus 5 that is 0 so 9 it is and in the denominator we will be having 2 six is 12 so it will be 122 minus 8 plus 2 that is 10 Six plus three that is nine, so one twenty two minus ninety multiplied by twenty multiplied by twenty. Now let us solve it further. So it will be sixty plus nine upon that will be thirty two multiplied by twenty. Four eights are is thirty two. Uh, four fives are is twenty, so that will be sixty plus forty five upon eight. Forty five upon eight will be five point six two five, so it will be sixty five point six two five. Okay, so the mod of this given data it will be sixty five point six two five. I hope the method is very much clear to you. You have to be careful about these three terms. That is f1, f0, and f2. Let me tell you again. F0 is basically the frequency of the class which is preceding the model class. F1 is the frequency of the model class, and f2 is the frequency of the class which is succeeding the model class. So please remember the meaning of these terms. L and H have the usual meaning. We all know about them. Okay, so I hope the whole procedure and the method is very much clear to you. Thank you.